Hi. Until now, we've been been working very largely with straight lines, and we've been wor working with flat surfaces, and I've been taking the complexity of things away. We've had white forms and, and still lives. So now I want to bring in a bit more fun, and that's curves. The world isn't straight. The world is, is, is curved. There's a sensuality about curves. If you can't draw curves, like your drawings are going to be dull and boring. But curves are more difficult. They require a bit more skill. So it's a skill you have to practice. But it, is, it, it essentially means doing this with your hand. That is describing a circle. The, there's a famous story about an artist called Giotto. And when he was being interviewed for a job with a great artist, and he was being interviewed as an apprentice, this great artist called Cimabue um, said to, to the young Giotto, said, show me how good you are. And it, the boy drew a circle in the sand, a perfect circle. And all he was doing was describing from his arm this perfect circle. And you will have to practice either drawing circles from your fingers, from your wrist, from your elbow, or from your arm. So all of these are circ and circular and ellipses going that way. So it, 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 this is what we're going to play with now. And basically, it's an action of, of just practicing. So we can cre create the, the form of a, of a bow. And if we're drawing a bowl or a cup or anything, that is basically what we do. And then we can smear the darkness on that and put the dark over here and use those tones we were talking about earlier, last week. Use the tone, get the darkness to throw dark. Imagine that light is only coming on that side, catching this inside of it. So, all right, I'm, I've done this lots of times and that looks great. You can. Practice drawing anything circular. A cup is a great thing to practice on. I've got a tea mug here. Doesn't matter what the heck it is you're drawing, but look how my hand is practice. I'm looking at that now. My head is still. I'm just trying to look how that my, how my hand is resting on the paper. And the, and the lead is just starting to go down. And then I've got this handle. This is it's, it's an exciting shape. Suddenly, this mug isn't just a boring old teacup. It's actually really a, a quite a, an exciting series of shapes and forms and lights and darks. And all of this has things to interest me and get my eyes going. And the more you look, the more you see. I mean, what I see is that that is dark inside and, and darker on that lip. So darker over there. So that, that I smudge and play, play with things. With. And that comes down there. Okay. That's how you go about it. You don't get tight. Don't don't get sort of too 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 tense about this. Keep it loose. Have 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 some fun. You do it on thin paper that you can throw throw away. It's it's just the act of looking that that really matters rather than the act of drawing. As long as you do it and keep doing it and keep doing it, 
you'll get better. You'll start to see better, you'll start to observe more, and you'll start to draw better. Have some fun.